What's going on, everybody? Kenny Bomb is in the building, and I went to WrestleMania this weekend. It was a Saturday, so I said, you know what? I'm not going to take my laptop. Nothing's going to happen. We won't get any Ermac crumbs until Monday at the earliest, and I'll be home by then, so everything's going to be fine. Got on the flight, landed at the airport, pulled my phone out, and all hell broke loose because NRS revealed the new and improved Ermac. And there was nothing I could do about it. But we are here today, and we got even more news because this trailer is going to drop today. Well, today as I'm recording this video at least. But this is the most exciting DLC drop we've seen since this game came out. Well, in my opinion at least. And they made it even more exciting. How? Let's take a look at this first video. Since we first saw Ermac, everybody was complaining because the man was pretty ugly. The second we saw Ermac, everybody begged NRS to put a mask on him, and they went in there and they got it done. Now, personally, I'm more of a mummy wrap guy myself, so hopefully that's his gear piece and we can go ahead and put the mummy wraps on him, but I know the majority of people like the mask, so I'm glad they went with the mask. Um, even if we don't get the mummy wraps, I can deal with it. But I don't know, his fist and his arm is kind of wrapped up there, so it's possible. It's possible. But I think the mask improves his design immensely, so... Big shouts out to Ermac, my third favorite character in Mortal Kombat. But let's go ahead and rewind it back a little bit. Because if we take it here, we see another guy in the background. We do get Movado this time. It's not Pharah. And I'm not mad at it. Movado is the guy I wanted to see in this game the most. And just by this shot, we do got another shot of him we'll see here in a minute. But I think he looks great. I don't know. He looks kind of vampire-esque. Of course, all the men are pretty in this game. So he looks like he might have that little pretty look to him. But... I think they nailed it. Let's see if we can tell more in the other shot. From what I can tell, they nailed it. Earth souls cannot live in an Earth Realm blade. They seem to be doing just fine. I watched that like 30 times in the airport, y'all. I don't know what it is about these. When they first show them, I just love them. Souls cannot live in an Earth Realm blade. They seem to be doing just fine. Check out his hand. He just looks like a zombie. Love it, love it, love it. But that wasn't it. Ed Boon, he gave us a long explanation of where Ermac came from. Definitely a good post. I'm not going to make y'all sit here and watch me read through it. But if you don't know Ermac's um, origins, definitely come check this out. But here we get not only another character intro, we also get a better look at Movado. That's, yeah, that one's pretty much the same. One of our souls was a suitor for Madame Bo. How many secrets does that woman have? I will not be surprised if we get Madame Bo as a playable character before this thing is all said and done. Or if she's revealed as a gender swap, really. I wasn't kind of leaning onto the theory that she is Baraitro, but I think it's possible now. All right, boom. There we have it. Movado. I don't know what he got on, but this is the same thing he had on in Mortal Kombat Daily Alliance, so it is what it is. But he looks kind of like vampire-esque. I don't know what it is. Look at him. Can y'all see him right there? I don't know what it is. He looks like he's a vampire now. Some type of undead stuff is going on with him. He just looks like a tired man, to be honest. <laughs> he looks like he's tired of everything. He's been through some things. But, you know, just looking at him here, I hope he has his Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance fatality where he puts, like, the hook shots in. He lifts his foot up. You see the spikes come out, lifts the other foot up, spike comes out, boom, steps through him. That's the classic Movado fatality I want to see come back. But it does show the cameo quality like they're usually they don't look as high quality as the mainline fighters and it's like that with everybody i mean y'all got mad at me before because i said the cyborgs look kind of plastic but it is what it is i think it looks great to be a cameo character and for the first time we've seen Movado in a very long time i'm excited this is the most exciting dlc fighter i believe 
Quan Chi was behind Ermac. And while none of the other cameos were really exciting to me, Movado is the first one that I really want to see how he plays. I want to see what his fatality is. I want to see what kind of brutalities he has and just how he performs in the game overall. So this season is going to be really good. Ermac is the most exciting character for me and Movado is without a doubt the most exciting cameo right in front of Farrah because I do want to see how she plays as well. He looks great, y'all. He looks great. 10 out of 10 for Movado. I think they pulled him off perfectly. Gameplay trailer coming this week. This is what Ed Boon left us with, but we just got the update. And I'm going to take y'all right to the Mortal Kombat 1 Twitter account where they announced... Born from Whispers, his legacy is iconic. Witness Ermac's assimilation into MK1. Gameplay trailer tomorrow at 6 a.m. Pacific time. Whoa. When I originally saw that, I thought it said 6 p.m. Pacific time. We got to get this video up right now. No more delays. Thank y'all for tuning in. Don't forget to drop a like on this video and smash the subscribe button if you haven't already. Ermac will be revealed in a few hours along with Movado. Let's get to that. Thank you.